I'm just a super fan. That's what I want to say. <laughs> That's Brilliant. great. Um, Thank you. I wanted to first start off with uh, your experience, this first experience with Netflix and Shondaland. Um, what was that like or what has that been like? It's been amazing. You know, Netflix has afforded us some, some unparalleled levels of, of creative freedom for the show. And they've been so supportive of this project from the beginning. Uh, you know, one of the most exciting things for me you know, working for a platform like Netflix is really when the show premieres on December 25th, it goes out to 190 countries all at once instantaneously. And for, you know, this series to have that kind of impact and reach on a global scale, it's it's a little surreal and it's it's incredible. I've been joking with family that we are not talking for eight straight hours. We're gonna binge it all day. We can eat and watch this. Um, why did you guys decide to go with a period piece as your first thing out the gate? You know, prior to Bridgerton, I was working for Scandal and as Scandal was coming to an end, I really wanted to do something different. You know, I wanted something else besides modern day political intrigue on Capitol Hill. And, you know, Shonda told me about these books that she had. And that night after we met, I took them home and I just devoured them. I fell in love with this world and this these characters. And they were, the books were funny and emotional and sexy and just charming. And there was an escape here. And escapism was, was really what I was looking for. Um, the Regency time period specifically, it's just, it's a time of beauty and excess and, and all this decadence. And there are so many rules that young men and women have to follow and have to abide by. And I think it's that kind of, that conflict that really provided us endless amounts of story in, in the writer's room. Now, equating that, that Regency period to present day, because I still feel that there are a lot of dating rules. Um, there might be a little bit more willy nilly now, but did you find similarities? Because watching this, even though it's Regency era, era, it's the same issues, the same issues in dating that has been yes. for generations and generations. Did you find that? Yeah, I think, you know, underneath all of the glamour and lavishness and this beautiful escapist world, we have this running modern commentary about how in the last 200 years, everything has changed, but nothing has changed. And I think yes. that goes for, for both women and men, you know, in terms of things like family and sexuality and relationships and dating, you know, they, they it was called courtship back then. And, and instead of swiping left and right on dating apps, they just did it at, at, at balls until the, you know, the early morning hours. So it was finding those modern references to the show um, that were a lot of fun. Even though we were in the 19th century, I, I wanted modern audiences to relate to it. Now, Everything about this is beautiful. The costumes, uh, the period, all of that. What was that like for you uh, to see your creation of Julia Quinn's come to, uh, books come to life? It was, it was amazing. You know, I love a good period piece and I love the genre, but I think that period pieces are often considered a little traditional and a little conservative. So with Bridgerton, I wanted to make the period piece that I've always wanted to see and one I hadn't seen before. And that was all about infusing this world through a contemporary lens and bringing a modern sensibility to these characters and these stories. And um, you see that immediately with the way we cast the show, you see it with the look of the show, things here are vibrant and fresh. Um, it's a world that, that I think is full of all kinds of swagger and style. And you see yeah. that, you know, in, in, in our production design and our costumes, which are all, they're rooted in the Regency, but, but the volume is turned up on everything. So it was all about turning this into, you know, not your typical period piece. Chris, I'm a super fan. I could talk to you forever, but I know we're <laughs> on a schedule. So I want to say A, congratulations. B, I just Thank found you. out that you guys are already renewed for a second season. So because I can't even leave my house, I will be watching all things Bridgerton forever. Thank you. Thank you so Thank you. much. Really nice Thank to talk to you. You too.